Hello and welcome to Puro. In this video we will be demonstrating the check weighing application. The purpose of this application is to check whether sample weights correspond to a specified target weight. First we have to activate the check weighing application. Press and hold the menu key. Press yes to accept on application and scroll until you find the check weighing. Press yes again to accept. Now we turn it on and press yes. Press back to go back into the main screen. To now get into the application to start using it, press and hold the function key until you see check weighing appear on screen. When you release the key, the check weighing application has been activated, as you can see in the symbol. First it will say clear limits. This is if you have previously been using the application and have any stored limits in there. Press yes to clear the limit and now it will prompt you to say the set to set the lower limit. The previous setting is displayed here. To change it, press the no key. This will start the flashing of the first digit. We can either confirm the digit with the yes key or change the digit with the no and back keys. When you are happy with the weight on the screen, continue to press yes until all of the digits start to flash. Press yes again to accept. Now it is requesting that you set the higher limit. Press yes and repeat the same process. Again, press yes to move the key along and to accept or use the no and back keys to change the digit. Once you are happy that you have set the higher limit, continue to press yes and again all the digits will flash. Press yes again and this limit is now set. This will take you straight into the application where you can start your weighing. As you can see a sample has been placed on the weighing pan. As this falls between the upper and lower tolerances, the check weighing light is showing green. The next sample is outside of the upper tolerance and therefore is showing red. This again is a good sample and is reflected with the green check weighing light. This sample is too heavy and therefore the red light is shown. This sample is too light and therefore the yellow lower tolerance limit has been exceeded. With the check weighing application you can also fill to a tolerance. An empty bowl is placed on the scale and can be teared off. The bowl will now be filled with product and checked on the scale. As this is still on the lower side, more product will need to be topped up. When the light is showing green, you know that the product is correct. We will now demonstrate negative check weighing. In this instance, when you set the higher and the lower tolerance limits, both need to be negative values. To do this, press and hold the function key 
except when it says clear limits. Set your lower limit. When moving across, use the function key to scroll up and you can see that there is now a minus symbol. Your lower limit has now been set. Repeat this function for the higher limit. The higher limit has to be lower than the lower limit. Once the limits have been confirmed, keep pressing yes, and then yes again to confirm. Now you are in the check weighing negative function. Place all of your samples on the scale at the same time. Then press the tear key. Now remove your first sample as you can see, the light has gone green, so this is a good product within the limits. Press the tear key again and remove your next sample. Again, the light is green, so it's a product within the limits. Repeat this process. This product is too low, as it falls outside the higher limit. This product is too high, as it falls outside the lower limit. When you have completed, press the zero key. We will now move on to demonstrate subtractive check weighing. This is where a product can be dosed out or taken away from the complete product. Start by pressing the function key and holding. Press yes to accept the clear limits. Now you set your lower limit. Again, this should be a minus number. Now move on to set the higher limit. As these are minus numbers, the higher limit has to be lower than the lower limit. Once you are happy with your selection, press yes to confirm. Now the application is running. Place your complete product on the scale. Press tear. Start removing pieces of the product until the green light is shown. This is a demonstration of subtractive check weighing. If you take out too many products, the red light will show. You can continue this process by pressing tear.
Once you have completed your weighing, press zero to return the scale back to check weighing. We will now demonstrate zero check weighing. This is where you compare other samples with one reference sample. Again, to start the application, press and hold the function key to set your limits. For zero check weighing, the lower limit has to be a minus number. The higher limit has to be a positive number. When you are happy with your upper tolerance, press yes to accept. Now you are in the zero check weighing function. Your first sample is your reference sample. Place it on top of the weighing pan and press tear. All subsequent weighing samples will be compared to this good sample. As you can see, the light is green. This is a good sample. Likewise, this is also a good sample. The check weighing light has gone red and therefore it is not a good sample. This sample is too low. Ending on a good sample, thank you for your attention.